As a creator, being a perfectionist can be your downfall at times. Sometimes you get bogged down in making sure every little detail is perfect. Every aspect of your creative process has to match the vision you set in place. Perfectionism can rule over our projects and it can be detrimental. Every now and then, feeding into that perfectionism, however, is a necessary step forward. Finding the delicate balance is the key to making progress with your creative projects, and sometimes that perfectionism is warranted. As a video producer, the Loop Deck Live helps me dial into that perfectionism in ways a keyboard and mouse never could. This powerful little console lets you bridge the gap between user input and your creative arsenal. So I want to take you through my workflow with the Loop Deck Live and show you exactly how I use this console to color grade my videos. So let's head on into Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you an example grade for an upcoming project that I have in Premiere Pro using the Loop Deck Live. Alright, so this is a clip that I'm using for an upcoming project of mine. It's just a shot of some skyscrapers and you can already tell right off the bat it's an extremely desaturated clip, super flat. So we're going to use the Live Console to adjust this. The great thing about the Live Console is on the bottom you've got these round buttons and I have them assigned to various workflows. So number one is my editing workflow. You can see all of the editing tools there. Number two is the color grading workflow, which I use the most specifically for this project. So we're going to be in there most of the time. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn on Lumetri Scopes because it's really important to make sure you can see what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and enable Lumetri Scopes. Now I'm going to start adding contrast back to this clip. Make sure we're on the adjustment layer here and I'll just go ahead and start making my adjustments. So I'm rotating the contrast dial here and you can see I'm getting a little bit more contrast in this clip and I think it's a little underexposed as well so I'm just going to go ahead and bump up the exposure a couple of stops here that looks good add a little bit more contrast and I think that looks good right there next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and head over into creative corrections dials and you can see right here on the side we've got creative saturation so I'm gonna bump that up a little bit and add a little bit more saturation to this clip that looks good right there now you can actually see that the sky is really blue and I don't want that for this specific look so I'm gonna head into hue versus saturation here with the mouse and just drag down the saturation on the blues because that is not the look I'm trying to achieve. And there we go, that looks good right there. Uh, it's still really dark, so let's go ahead and bump up the exposure a little bit more. There we go, that's perfect. Now we can start actually adding a grade. So if you go into color wheels, this is gonna let you make adjustments to the hues and the saturation level of the highs, the mids, and the shadows. So I'm gonna start off with the shadows here and give it kind of a teal look. There we go. And then I'm gonna take the highlights and give it more of like a, a yellow hue to it. I also wanna add some sharpness, so I'm going to go into Creative Correction Dials and adjust the sharpness. If I go into Creative Tent, I can also apply some split toning here and I can also adjust the balance. So I'm just gonna take the shadows and adjust a little bit. And now I'll go back to Basic Corrections I'm going to bring the black levels down slightly. Now if I click this Lumetri Effects on and off button, you can actually see the before and after. It's an incredible difference and I really like the way this clip looks. The thing about the Loop Deck Live is it offers so much precision that you just can't get with a mouse and keyboard and I can actually have my video up in full screen and see every adjustment that I'm making while my fingers are making the adjustment. And you don't get that kind of precision using a mouse. My name is Spencer Ryan and that is how I use the Loop Deck Live in my workflow.